Welcome back friends. Today I'm really excited because I'm finally getting around to installing my electric crane hoist in my garage here. It's rated for up to 880 pounds and there's a couple things that I'm really wanting to use it for. Number one is if I want to lift up a generator or a welder into the back of a pickup or a trailer. And number two, I have this crane scale right here that I want to be able to use from that. So in some of my video reviews, you can see what some things are gonna weigh. So let's get started on the install. All right, so the tool setup that I have today might be a little bit overkill for the project, but this is my go-to setup for a wide variety of items that I'm working on. So the first thing I wanna start out with the pack out system. So I've invested in this. This has a lot of things that I need in it, all the essentials. So if you ever wanna see a tour of my pack out system, let me know, I'm thinking about making a video on that. And the one key item that I wanna highlight, especially cause I'm working by myself today, is I have the pack out radio and everything I'm running is battery powered today. And this has a battery charger in it for the M18 Milwaukee batteries. And then it also has an amazing radio and speaker system with Bluetooth. So today I'm working by myself, so I enjoy listening to music, sports, or podcasts. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. And it makes a day like today where it's 80 degrees and humid to be a little more bearable. It kind of distracts me from the heat and I can focus on something like this. So at some point, I'm gonna also have a review on this radio right here. So all the tools I'm using today are gonna to be running off M18 batteries. So I have a spare one in here that's fully charged, ready to go. And then if one of the batteries drains out, I can put it in here and charge it while listening to the radio. So I'm always gonna have a battery ready to go. So I definitely like the work table on top of that pack out system. Then right here we have the tote that has all my hand tools in it. And then we're gonna be doing some ripping here with the M18 fuel. This is a eight and a quarter inch table saw. And this tool right here, I probably use the most. It's a 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. I'm running a 12 amp hour battery on it. And then today we have just a little bit of steel cutting on this square tube. And I'm gonna be testing out for the first time the Milwaukee M18 eight inch metal cutting circular saw. So I do have some steel projects coming up pretty soon. So I'm gonna be putting this to the test on some bigger stuff, but at least I wanna give you a quick look at it today. So we're gonna go up in my attic here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach the electric crane hoist. I found my hockey stick. I'm gonna show you with this. This is gonna be my pointer stick. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So this part right here, this is called the webbing. So this is the nail plate and the apex up here. So I believe this is gonna be the strongest point. So the crane hoist is gonna center between these two trusses right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have a two by six. I'm gonna span it. It's gonna be a total of 10 feet. So from this side, it's gonna go over two. And then from the center here, it's gonna go this way, two as well. And then my square steel tubing is gonna go between four of those. And that's gonna to attach to the two by six. It'll make sense once we get started. I have a two by six right here. I had a 12 footer that I cut down. This is a scrap piece. So I'm gonna fit this up at the top right there, but I'm gonna end up finding the angle so I can cut those and they can go up nice and tight and snug. So if you look at this right now, this doesn't fit nice and tight up there like I want. So let me show you my little trick to find the angle on how to cut this. So first thing I have my torpedo level and then I have this digital angle finder. So what I'm gonna do is hold this level right here and then I'm going to, so I have this zeroed out. So now I'm going to find the angle. I'm gonna put this right there. And then I'm gonna run this right there. So we're gonna get this, the bubble in the middle. So we have 58.5. So let's go down. Right now it's getting really hot up here. Holy cow. So here's the angle, 58.5. So what we could do, we could just do the math, take 90 minus 58.5, and that's 31.5. So we could just set up that angle right there. Let me just take the battery out here a minute. Or if you don't have anything digital, you can also line it up with your blade. Check out, look real close. 
you would look at the angle of your blade. That matches up perfect, but you can dial it in. So what I'm gonna do is rip this scrap piece of two by six, and then we're gonna dry fit it and see how it looks up in the attic. Okay, let's go dry fit this, see how it looks. So my plan is to have two screws in each truss. So I have one there, we're gonna put one here. So if you ever wonder about the M12 Surge right here and how awesome it is, I highly recommend it. I'll have a link down below to the Home Depot website where you can see the awesome reviews on it. It just has plenty of power and it's lightweight so you can easily put that clip right there on your belt and go up and down a ladder. So right here, we have some inch and a half tube steel. It's 16th of an inch and we're gonna cut it to 75 inches long. Okay, so we're gonna set our depth on this now. All right, look at this cut. That is nice and clean. I wouldn't be able to achieve anything quite that nice with a sawzall blade or the angle grinder or some type of abrasive wheel. Just quick and easy. I'll tell you, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a two by four going across. That way, if this gives way and this gives way, there's one more two by four. Uh -huh. Kind of like one last fail safe against this. We're on two bars after this entire project. All right, I have a total of 40 screws I put in using the M12 Surge right here. Definitely did a great job and it can definitely do more. The nice thing with this is the two amp hour battery, it charges really fast, like in 35 minutes, I think. In my spare time, I'm going to extend this cord. It looks like it's only about five or six feet long. So I'm gonna want it to be down to the garage floor at least. Okay, check it out. I found these tie down straps right here in the automotive section at Home Depot. They have a working load, 3,333 pounds. So this, I have two of them. So I'm gonna lift the front end of the mower up. So now if I wanna do a blade change on my mower, this hoist should work pretty well. So I unlocked the rear wheel so it'll freewheel. And now we're going to put two straps on it. And then we're gonna just see what the weight is with that crane scale too. All right, there it is, the front end off the ground. So to lift it that high up requires 138 pounds of lifting force. So as long as we have this off the ground, let's just see how bad the deck is underneath. Yeah, I could definitely use a little bit of a cleaning. Not too bad, I've seen worse. All right, here it is, the Echo EG 10,000 generator. I'm guessing this one's probably gonna weigh somewhere around 200 pounds, but it'll be interesting to see what the scale says. So this is gonna require a couple of lifting straps. Hopefully it will stay balanced, but we'll see. I'll go slow. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, all right. That was my towel to keep it from getting scratched. And here is the weight. 
204. There have been several times where I've had to bring a generator to a job site. I usually have to have a trailer, but if you have a pickup truck and a hoist, you can put that in there. And then when you get to the job site, if there's a few people there, they can help you unload it. So this is just another example of how a hoist could come in handy. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. That's my goal is to show you how it works after installing it and along the way my thought process and also showing you some tools that I used that made the job go really smooth. So if you have any questions, put them down below. And if you find this video to be interesting, helpful and informative, please give the video a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.